it's hard to hear sad. that one fatality in Tuscaloosa County. The worst damage of this storm, though, can be found in Jefferson County. Several communities were indeed hit hard. CBS 42's Mike McClanahan continues our team coverage. He's live in Graysville tonight. And Mike, one state representative is asking for help to clean up all the debris and repair homes there. Indeed, Chair. You know, this is the Kangaroo Express convenience store and gas station where we sheltered during the storm last night. And today, in the daylight, you can really see the damage that it caused when it crossed Highway 78, uprooting trees, damaging roofs. There's even a checkpoint just out of camera frame where they are now controlling access in and out of the damaged neighborhoods like we've seen in other storms. Joining me now, State Representative Wandelin Gavan. Thank you, State Representative Gavan. This is part of your district. What does Graysville need? Right now, first of all, we need the prayers of the people, most importantly. Uh, this is a uh, devastating storm hitting just within a three-year anniversary of April's Fury from 2011. Uh, of course, any type of supplies, water, is always a, a, a great need in the community. Uh, the governor's office has been spectacular. I've called on Mayor William Bell. He sent his resources out here immediately upon request. Graceville is a smaller city, so therefore a lot of the big resources are not typically available to areas such as Graceville, but everybody has pretty much come together. Uh, of course, uh, there's a shelter that is going to be uh, set up, a command station that will be at the community center here in Birmingham excuse me, here in Graysville uh, that myself and uh, Mayor uh, Morgan have, have been working all day to get established and set up. So right now we just need the uh, water, any type of supplies, tarps. The tarps should be coming in hopefully soon, but right now it's just a matter of trying to get organized and get the people what they need by way of the water and uh, food and things of that nature. Thank you so much for your time. And again, one thing that they do not need, extra traffic. Again, they're controlling people coming in and out of the neighborhoods today. So uh, we're told you can't come in unless you live here or have an insurance claim paperwork uh, with you to prove that you can come in here. So we'll have another update later on from Graysville. And with that, we'll send it back to you.